My husband got his cousin pregnant while we were struggling with infertility problems. This happened in 2010, but I just found out a week ago and we did end up having a child together in 2012 and ended up getting an amicable divorce in 2018. We've remained on good terms, but I can just barely look at him now. I don't know who this person is or honestly ever was. It honestly scares me that someone I thought I knew so well is capable of doing something this heinous. Neither of them were ever planning on telling the cousin's husband, which is the father of the child or me, or our son who grew up as an only child and always has expressed how much he wanted a sibling. These kids are 12 and 13 years old now and of all people, his damn cousin. Like what? I know that it was a long time ago, okay, but it's brand new news to me. I am just so furious and hurt by so many aspects of this, which I'll spare you guys the details. This kid's grandmas are sisters and his grandpas are brothers. So if you're keeping up, that makes two aunt grandmas and two uncle grandpas. Like, are you actually kidding me? Now what? My son has a brother cousin? Like, thank you so much for dragging my child into your freak show of a family. We were married and I trusted him 100% and now I'm finding out that this, like really your cousin my child was never a miracle child to my husband like he was to me because he had already had a child i'm honestly ashamed to be permanently associated with this family and we live in a very small town it's also a very gossipy town and i really don't want to be known as the girl whose ex-husband had a kid with their cousin while they were married I honestly just hate everything and everyone right now. My best friend from college ghosted me for seven years and now she's back in my life like nothing happened. What are your thoughts? My best friend from college, we were literally inseparable and we spent all of our time together. We could talk about anything. And we had so many great memories. We would do everything together. It was mutual on both ends and we never fought so I think that's why it came as such a huge shock. I was under the impression that everything was good. After we graduated college, she would just stop answering my calls, my texts, and my messages on Facebook, she would literally just heart and not respond. I was so crushed, so I had sent her a message and I said that if I had done anything or said anything that hurt her, then it obviously was not intentional because I've always cared for her and I got absolutely no response. It went like this for seven years and I just kept replaying so many things in my head. The worst part of it all was just not knowing or being given an answer about why our friendship ended. After about seven years, one of our mutual friends who was still friends with her gave me her number i just reached out to her and told her that she's been missed and if there's anything that i said or did unintentionally i'm really sorry and she just said oh you know how technology is so many people have said that they've tried to reach me and i just wasn't getting the messages but i think she was because she was harding the messages and now for the past few months she has just been going about things like nothing even happened like acting all buddy buddy and obviously yeah i'm happy that she's back in my life but i've been slowly kind of realizing that like no that's not okay at all i mean you don't just walk out of someone's life for seven years and then blame it on technology like i obviously love her and i really want to continue my friendship with her but i feel like she's just gonna end up walking out again for seven years and blame it on some bogus excuse i'm definitely still hurt because i just feel like i haven't gotten a true honest answer and also she was still in touch with our mutual friends for all of these years so a few of them ended up having a falling out with her over the past year and then and she needed me so I think that's why we kind of got back in touch and started being friends again I'm starting to think that this isn't really a real friendship I thought about confronting her about it a little more and just asking her and telling her that like technology isn't really an excuse and I knew that she was seeing the messages because she was hearting them but I just want to know other people's thoughts on this like what do you guys think should I just like block her and move on or should I confront her again Am I the asshole for declining my boyfriend's proposal in private after I accepted it in public? 
For a little bit of context, I'm 22 and I've been dating my boyfriend who's 26 for about 10 months now. I don't feel ready for marriage yet considering like school and all and he's just been searching for jobs and we just haven't really started life yet. Like we're just getting into life. But anyways, me and my boyfriend have never really talked about marriage, but we did know that we both wanted to date to marry. So we both knew that if we were dating, then that's where it was going to lead if it worked out. However, I just think that it's a little too soon. We haven't really talked about planning anything like a wedding or a house or kids or anything like that. We've also only been living together for four months out of the 10 months that we've been dating. I just don't feel like we're at the marriage level yet, although I obviously want to in the future and I do see it happening with him specifically. Anyways, me and my boyfriend were going on a date and we really wanted to make it a little bit more special than just like a regular date because my birthday was coming up and we both couldn't celebrate on the actual day of my birthday. But to cut to the chase, we were surrounded by a whole crowd of people and he pops the question. And I've seen too many embarrassing rejections of proposals in public, so... I obviously said yes, but then I hugged him and I whispered in his ear that we will need to talk in private about this. He seemed visibly nervous when I said this to him. Later that day, we sat down together and I confessed to him that I really wasn't sure about marriage this soon. I didn't think that I was really ready yet, but that I really didn't want to embarrass him in public, so I said yes. I also told him that I was kind of hurt that he didn't consult me in the first place about the whole thing because like I said, we haven't even talked about marriage or anything with future like house, kids, proposal, wedding, things like that we haven't even talked about. Obviously after that things got a little bit heated because he was hurt and he realized that his whole proposal was fake I guess. I thought I compromised by asking if we could just do a super long engagement so that we could kind of figure out life things first. He agreed but he's been extremely cold to me ever since this happened. I know that I was wrong and I obviously respect him for being hurt but am I truly the asshole?